Good, Good morning, morning Super, Super readers. readers! Thank you for joining us in our Valley PBS classroom. I'm Mrs. Nix. I'm Mrs. Hammock. And I'm Mrs. Bang. This is a place for us to learn, practice, and grow, grow our brains. brains to become even stronger readers, writers, and thinkers. So let's get started by warming up our brains with some ear training called Daily, Daily Phonemic, Phonemic Awareness. Awareness. All right, today's Daily Phonemic Awareness is going to be simply this. We're going to go through and we're going to, I'm going to give you some sounds and I'm going to have you blend them together. Are you ready? Excellent. All right, let's do it on our arms today. So here's our first sound. J. Ah. Jaw. Oh, nice. Very good. How about this one? Wa. Ah. Wa. Ah. Walk. 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 Good. All right. How about this one? K. R. A. O. K. R. A. O. K. R. A. O. You oh, got I it. Walk and crawl. I got it. Okay. All right. Last one. A. O. Alt. Alt. Mm -hmm. Excellent job. Excellent. I love that you're those practicing all words. those sounds. All right. Let's warm up our brains. Let's get our bodies going. Let's, Let's get everything going. So You know, my hands are a little cold. Want to build a fire? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> And it jumped way too long <laughs> in time. That's okay. When oh. you're when you're doing a dance, you just go with the feeling. <laughs> Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we are going to go with our feeling because it feels like it's time to work on phonics. Okay. Sounds like a plan. See you later. All right. Bye. We'll see you. All right, super readers, come on to the word work wall with me. And today, remember, we are focusing on the straw card. That straw card says ah, and there are five ways that we've been looking at how to spell that sound. Very tricky. So let's get started and call our friends in to help us practice. You ready? Hey friends, how are you? Good Hi, morning. Good morning. I'm so glad to see you. Our super readers and I have been talking about the straw card and we're glad you're here to help us again today with some Blending. Do you think you can help us? Oh, mm -hmm. yes. All right, great. Well, I'm going to say the name, uh, the, the spelling pattern. I'd like you to repeat it, and then we'll read the word, okay? Uh, okay. okay. All right. A says ah. Oh. A, A says, says ah. Oh. Good. And here's our word. Salt. Salt. Very nice. A W says ah. Oh. A, A W, w says ah. Oh. Perfect. R. Ah. Oh. Read it. Raw. Ra. How'd you do? Raw. Raw. All right. We have A U says ah. Oh. A, A U says ah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Let's read this one together. Launch. Launch. Like a rocket ship launches into space. Very nice. All right, here's our trickiest one. Look at all those letters. Ooh. Let's spell it and then we'll say the ah sound. A U G H says ah. A U G H says ah. Oh. Good job. Let's read this word. T ah. Taught. Like I taught you the straw card. Ooh. And then we have A-L says ah. 
A L says ah. Good job. And let's read this word. Ch ah. Chalk. Do you see how that L is actually part of the vowel in this word? Because Ooh. it helps make the AH sound. That's why we don't hear it. That's why the L is written in red. So it says CH, AH, and then the ending sound is K, oh. CHALK. Tricky, yes. isn't it? it That's is a, a tricky, tricky one. Mm -hmm. I know. It is very tricky. Now, I wanted to give you a little... Um, Oh, maybe a help, a note of help. So this has always helped me. When I see AU and I know that it says AH, when I look at this, if I forget, then I say AU and then I remember, oh, that's right, AU says AH. So that means oh. A-U-G-H says AH too because it helps me just remember and connect those two spelling patterns together so that if I get stuck, it's one way I can try to remember. Mrs. Hammock, you always have the best little tricks up your sleeves. I try because I want boys and girls and super readers of all kinds to break the code for reading. And oh. so we have to really focus and study words to do that. It's okay. like looking at patterns. That's what I love. I love looking at patterns and You're that's a great right. pattern. That's mm -hmm. great, Ricky, because our brain learns using patterns. Our brain is always looking for patterns. And so we just have to focus that brain onto the patterns we're looking at. All right, so let's today build some words. You ready? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to give mm -hmm. you a hint. We're going to work on the least common spelling pattern because there's some words here that I know you know and I think you will also be using in your writing from time to time. So remember, this is not all. It's Ah, ah. Just ah. ah. That's all it says is ah. So let's try and let's build the word call. I would like to call my friend. So what do you think? Um, okay, I, I, I feel like I've seen this word a lot. I bet you have. And so I know it starts with the letter C. Yes. That's very good. So let's let's read what we have so far. Are you ready? Because this uh -huh. can tr this can be tricky for boy for super readers too. When they see this, it can be tricky. So let's read the sounds that we have. We have k, ah. Oh. So what do oh. we need to make it say call? Oh, I see what it is. I see what it is. What we is have it? to add the letter L at the yes. end. Yes. Good thinking. Because we st we still need the O sound at the end. And this L, it doesn't make that sound. It's part of the vowel. K all Ooh. Call. Good job. What if I wanted to take call, speaking of patterns, and I wanted to make it say ball. I love to play ball at recess. Ah, no, that one, Mrs. Hammock. All That's right. easy. I got it. What do you think, Ricky? Because the beginning sound says b. That's just a B. You are right. Do we need to change anything else? Nope. No, we don't because, but uh, Mrs. Hammock, yes. I always thought it was the A-L-L -L that says all, I and know. now I know that it was just the L at the end that says the uh, it's super not the double tricky. L. You're right, it's mm -hmm. super tricky. So let's read what we have. You ready? b b b b Now, Ricky, you were saying you thought it was A L L, but look, when I take those away, there is it's another word. Oh, right. Now let's let's blend it by saying the sounds. Here we go. We say, ah, ooh, ah. See how that works? Mm -hmm. That is the spelling pattern. All right. Let's. We had call and ball. I wonder if you could help me spell small. Tina is very small. small. What do you think? What do you hear at the beginning? Oh, oh I, there's a blend. So, s is at the very beginning, s but we have to have an S and an M. You are right. S so let me get my S here and my M here. And now let's read our word. Ready? Small. Small. Good mm. job. Do you see how patterns can help us, Ricky? Mm. Oh, I said another word, Mrs. Hammond. You do? Mm. Tell me. 
take out the S. Okay, let's take it away. Now I see the word mall. Oh, because oh, yes, I always go to the mall and I see it all the time. Great job. Mm -hmm. So that's how much fun word work can be because if you know how to spell one word with a spelling pattern, you can make a whole list of other words. And then reading and writing is not as difficult, is it? Mm -mm. It, it takes away a little bit of the, oh, I don't know how to read that because you have learned a spelling pattern that's going to help you read and write new words. Mm -hmm. thank, thank you for your help today. No, thank you for teaching us all these spelling patterns so we can read all the words. Oh. I'm going to go write all my words. Oh, with that. I can't wait. Oh. Will you go and do that mm -hmm. and then so mm -hmm. I can look at it later? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. okay. Awesome. See you later. Okay. okay, see you guys later. Bye-bye. All right, super readers, let's read our sentence for today so we get some practice with that spelling pattern in text. Here we go. The cat played with the small ball. Great work today. All right, a lot of tricky spelling patterns, but you can do hard things. Hmm, I wonder what hard things Mrs. Nix has planned for you. Let's go see. Oh, Mrs. Hammock, we never have hard things over here. We have fun things over here. We're going to talk about high frequency words, and those are those words that you come across often in your reading and writing. So it's important that we're able to have our brain power focused on just being able to identify these words automatically, kind of like when we see our name. That way, when we come to those words that Mrs. Hammock was teaching us, or those sounds, we can be practicing and using our brain work for those. Okay, let's go through and let's look at our words for this week. We have six of them. I want you to read them big and loud so that I can hear them all the way down here at the studio. Here we go. Friend, love, picture, father, mother, and brother. Today, we're gonna focus on this word right here. This word is picture, picture. Let's spell it, P-I-C-T-U-R-E, picture. Good job. Now, just remember, there's not a C-H in there. It's a C and then there's a T-U-R-E. All right, so what does this look like in a sentence? Let's look. I smiled for my class. That's right, I smiled for my class. Picture. Great job. Okay, today I have a little bit of a game for us to play. This one is swat a word and I am gonna need a friend to come out here and help me out. And it looks like I've got Mrs. Bang. Woohoo! I hey, help Mrs. you, B Mrs. Nix. Awesome. So Mrs. Bang, this is a really fun game. It's called Swat a Word. I've got all of our words that are up here. You get to pick a wand, whichever one you would like. And then we're going to go through and we're going to choose a word. We'll show our friends on TV um, which are, what our word is. And then we're going to flip it over real quick, look at it, and whoever can swat it first wins. Are you ready? Okay. Okay. All right. You want to do our first one? So they see it first? Uh-huh. I don't know which story. There you go. Can you see word? it? Don't tell us. Okay, ready? Ready? Okay, what is it? <gasps> Friend! Friend. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, I was going to go right here. Good that was a cheeky job. One. All right, ready for the next one? The next one is, do you see it? Here it is. Love. Love. Oh! Oh! <sighs> All right, last one. Okay, ready? Okay. Picture. Picture. Uh, oh. Oh. oh, so close. <laughs> so much fun. And you could be doing fun things like this when you are with a partner or when you're at home. Maybe you're waiting for dinner to be prepared. So practice, practice, practice those high frequency words. All right. Let's go over and watch a quick video. And then Mrs. Banks is going to come back and help you with a little comprehension. We'll see you back here in just a minute. Meet Rosina by George and Kona. Hi, I'm R O S I N A. I am deaf, so I talk with my hands. I go to a special school for deaf children. All of our teachers teach with American Sign Language. 
We call this signing. We study math, writing, reading, and art. It's the same as in other schools. My brother Emilio also goes to my school. We play basketball during recess. My mother and aunt are deaf too. They both work at my school. Mom is a teacher's helper. My aunt Carla shows us pictures of students who used to go to the school. My mom was one of them. My aunt often tells stories about when my parents were young. Sometimes we go to the school library. Our librarian, Hetty, signs stories from the books in the library. Hetty is good at telling stories. She makes us feel as if we're in the story. The story can make us feel sad, scared, worried, or happy. I love going to art class. I like to paint. Here I am painting a picture of myself. Our class made up a story. It is about a deaf father who woke up one day with four arms. We wrote it and did all the drawings. Then we made it into a book called Too Many Hands. I like sports. We are playing rugby. The way we play is to tag the person carrying the ball. Then he or she throws it to another player on the team. By running fast, we can get away and cross the goal line. Our team played other schools. We beat all of the other teams and accepted a big trophy. We were so happy. We splashed our coach in water. Some of us got wet too. We are all friends, so no one got mad. After school, I shower and change clothes for dinner. Mom likes to fix my hair. She puts it up in a bun like her mother did. At home, we all help Mom cook meals. I chop lettuce. Emilio cuts up cheese. Dad makes guacamole. After dinner, Dad and I play a game of chess. Emilio roots for me. Mom, Dad, Emilio, and me. That's my family. But there are many more, too. We are a big family. I have lots of aunts, cousins, grandpas, and grandmas. Most of my mom's family is deaf. My whole family uses sign language to talk to each other. This is how we sign goodbye. Did you guys enjoy that story? Oh, I really enjoy that story, and I enjoy meeting Rosina and all the people in her family and her community that can help her. Wasn't that interesting? Oh, it's a great story, wasn't it? Now, today, we're going to be working on some author's craft. So, I have a question here, and it says, what clues help you know Rosina's family helps one another? And then to help us answer that question, here is what I'm going to do to find the text evidence. It says I'm going to use clues from the photographs and the text on page 316 and 370 to write about how each family member helps. So you see how I have page 316 and 370 up here for us. I'm going to use the photographs. Remember, because this is a nonfiction text, so we have photographs and our text. So if I'm looking at the photo, I see that there's mom. So I put mom. I see Rose. Rosina, she's right here. I see Emilio, remember that was the brother, and then I see dad. So let's think about what's happening, looking at the photos and the text, and see how they help each other. Are you guys ready? So let's look at mom. What do you guys see? How does mom help? Let's see. She, you're right, she fixes Rosina's hair, and what does she do? The text says she fixes her hair into a bun, and she also cooks the meal. You're right. So what is Rosina doing? Do you guys see? What is she doing over here? Do you see that in the photograph? 
That's right, she was chopping up lettuce and tomatoes. It didn't say that in the text, did it? But we see that she, well, oh, you're right, I chop lettuce. You're right, it was in the text, it's right there, good. Now, Emilio, here's her brother, Emilio. What did he do to help? He cuts up the cheese and helps with the guacamole. And it says it right here. I see him doing it here in the photograph and the text says, Emilio cuts up cheese and the dad makes the guacamole. So he helped dad with the guacamole. Now dad, what was dad doing? To help dad mix the guacamole. And I see him making it right here and it also says it in our text. So what clues help you? us know Rosina's family help one another. Well, I know that the family helps one another because what told me? You're right. The author tells me that the family does and I see it in the photo. Did you guys get that? Good job. Now, let's take that into writing now. So let's look at my writing prompt. My writing prompt today says, how do the people in your community work together to help you. So I want you guys to think about people in your community, but maybe someone all, like in your family. How do they work together to help you? Let's call our friends to come help us with our writing today. Are you guys ready? <laughs> There's our friend. Hello. Did you guys really enjoy reading that story or listening to that story? Oh yeah, that yes. was so She has good. so many community helpers that helped her mm -hmm. and her family. She has mm -hmm. like how their family helped each other also. Oh, yeah. yeah, I love that story. I do too. Now, my writing prompt today says, how do the people in your community work together to help you? So I want you guys to think, hmm, is there someone in your community? Maybe also someone in your family that helps you? How do they help you guys? I want you guys to think, and then let's come up with our paragraph. Can you guys think of people well, in our community to help us? I I was thinking about things that um, my parents are, they volunteer with, with scouts. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, they work with my parents and my parents work with that, with them. And so they work together to try and make our community a better place. We do a lot of volunteering. Oh, I like yeah, that. Yeah, I like that. That's and, a great and idea. I was thinking of my mom because she and she and my teacher work together. Oh. They help me to be a better learner. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like that too. Two great ideas. Now remember, if you have your own idea, you can write your own paragraph. You don't have to write what we write here in our PBS classroom, right? That's Anybody right. can write what they were brainstorming. I love that. I wrote it down if oh. you want to use okay. it. Yeah, Rita, let's thank use you it. so much. So Rita already <laughs> started. She said, remember what she said? Rita said, my mom and my teacher work mm -hmm. together to help me. Oh, I like that. Now, remember, that's our topic sentence we talked about. Our mom and our teacher. Give me some details. Well, how do they help you? How about my mom takes care of me? Oh, I like that. Yeah. Does your mom take care of you? That's a great sentence. Thank you, Tina. My mom takes care of me. Perfect. And I said my teacher helps me learn new things because since we said about the mom, mm -hmm. now we need to say something about the teacher. That's right. I loved how you talked about the teacher now because we did say the mom. My mom takes care of me. Now I want to write a detail about my teacher. My teacher helps me learn new things. Ooh, oh, you guys I ready? I have one with both. <gasps> Ooh. They both read to me every night. Yeah. Oh, I every like day. that. Oh, that like was it. like perfect sentence. So we talked about how my mom helps, how my teacher helps, and then how they both helps me. How do they both help Clearly, both? they work together to help me. Oh, and that's our ending sentence. And that means we are done with our paragraph. Don't forget, when you write, we always need that closing sentence so that we know that we are done. Now, I want you guys to finish your story but I also want you to listen to this um, friend who wants to share a book with you. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. Hmm. Hey, uh, I have a question. Where are they going? Where, what direction are they going? Wow, that's a really good question. Do you know? I don't know. How about you, Scooter? Do you know? No. How about you? Do you know where they're going? Well, if you'd like to find out, 
which direction to go or where they're going in this story, you might want to check out Oh, The Places You'll Go by Dr. Seuss. You can look for it at your public library or at your school library. You can even look for it on Sora. Happy reading. Hey, I was the friend sharing the story. <laughs> I always love that. <laughs> That's what I was going to say, but I was thinking about my check. Are you guys ready? Oh, no, we are. Let's do it. Uh, okay. Uh, um, what event do spiders love to attend? Hmm. I don't know. Feasts? Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know. I, oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> Webbing! Oh, webbing. 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 Oh, my golly. Oh, You're so silly. He's got some silly. substitution going on right I in his joke. I think so. I think so. Hey, thanks for joining us today on Valley PBS. We look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Bye.